Привет, guys! How is it going? My name is Fedor. Welcome to BeFluent channel, the channel that is all about helping people speak Russian. And today we're gonna talk again about the cases. And this video is gonna be a two-part video because all six cases, it's, it's gonna be way too long. So I'm gonna make first part, three cases, second part, three cases. Okay, so let's get right to it. Usually I have a paper and I write on the paper, but this time I forgot to print this out. So it's my mistake, but I have to make a video today. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm gonna use my iPad, iPad for, you know, instead of a paper. We'll see how it's, uh, how it's going to go. The way we're gonna do this exercise right now is I have our short uh, text uh, over here and we're gonna learn cases by practice. So we're gonna see the cases in the, in, the, in the text and then discuss why it's in the case it is and I'm gonna explain why it is, okay? So let's get to it. First we have a non-native case. And I took this um, story from lifeinternet.ru, it's not mine, uh, for any you know copyright purposes, it's not mine, I took it from that website. Um, so, I already highlighted the words that are in a, in a nominative case and I'm only going to read the sentences that they are in so we can, you know, make this make these videos faster. So, I'm going to read, of course, and translate and then explain. Здравствуй, Джон. Hello, John. John is going to be in a nominative case because it's a direction to John. So, здравствуй, John, meaning um, he is the person I'm talking to. Как поживаешь, друг? How are you living, friend? And the same thing goes to друг. Друг is friend. He is directing this sentence to him. That's why it's going to be in a nominative case. Я часто думаю о тебе и о Мэри и очень скучаю по нашему городу. I think a lot about you and about Mary and miss my... Miss our city a lot. And this sentence, ya is going to be in a nominative case because it's a subject. Subjects are always going to be a nominative case because they are acting. They're the ones that are making the action. For example, I love you. I would be uh, a subject and it's going to be in a nominative case regardless because it's a subject. It's always going to be in that case. It's not going to change. It's going to be just a nominative case. Next sentence, we'll still have ya over here, but we already talked about ya. Ya is always going to be a nominative case. I just don't want to repeat myself again. Moskva, город огромный. So, Moscow is a big city. When we describe something, um, then it's always going to be... So, the thing that we describe and what we compare it to are always going to be in nominative cases. So, we describe Moscow, Moskva. Moskva, Moskva is in a nominative case. And then we compare it to a huge city. So, Moscow is a huge city. Gorod, which is a city, is going to be in a nominative case as well. Because it's a subject as well. It's a subject because it's kind of like an acting, um, acting noun. And then there are two sen sentences that, that are not re really complete. It just shows how excited the person is about what he's talking about. And he is saying the following. Kulturny center, a cultural center. Stolitsa, capital. So it's like a cultural center, capital. It's not really uh, a sentence. But still, both of these words are in a nominative case. Because it's just, you know... The infinitive, uh, the definition, the, not, not, the dictionary uh, form of a word. Because it's not really a sentence. So that's it for nominative case. Now let's get to the genitive case. And I'm going to make these videos day by day. So welcome to next day's um, lesson. We're going to continue doing cases.